You know, it wasn't that long ago when Middleton was sitting at 2-2. Two and two. Since that time, they've been unstoppable and win in level one of the playoffs. Close one, 21-20 to 20 over La Follette. We bring back Coach Joe Poles and also Sam Engler, tight end for the Cardinals. And if you could, guys, let's recap this game against La Follette. That was a tight one. You guys hold on in the end. Yeah, um, we kind of knew coming into it it was going to be a different ball game, and that was going to be uh, they're going to fight for every everything in the game. And so... Um, we knew it was going to be a tougher game, and um, we kind of just tried to stick to our game plan. And um, they did; uh, they performed really well against us, um, but we just managed to pull it out in the end. Well, so. if the game plan was to give the ball to Kelly and Buckner a lot, mission accomplished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 28 carries, 276 yards, two touchdowns, including a 57-yarder. What else can you say about this kid that maybe hasn't already been said? I love him. We all, the whole, the whole line loves him. I, I mean, bet. yeah, he makes you guys look good, right? <laughs> yeah, the best, the best, the best feeling is, you know, when you're blocking somebody and you see Kelly and zoom past you. I mean, there's no better feeling than that. And um, I, I don't never met anyone that runs like that kid, and he just runs so tough. And so we love to have him. So. Yeah, I would imagine either he makes you guys look good or you're making him look good. <laughs> Probably if I asked him, he would say that. Uh, you know, Coach, talk, talk about that, if, if you could, your offensive line play then in that game. How do you think you guys did? Um, I mean, there's definitely things that we could have done better. I think, um, you know, like playoff time, you know, everybody wants to keep going. Mm -hmm. You know, last game, it's win or go home, last game. So we knew La Follette was going to play, and they played, they played their hearts out. Credit to them. Um, it was a battle. It was a battle. It was definitely a battle. And um, like, like Sam just said, having a guy like Callion on your side definitely helps. <laughs> Absolutely. So you guys spend 10 weeks playing in the Big 8, and what do you know, you got to play another one, and mm -hmm. it's a big matchup against Memorial. Now, that game kind of went down to the wire. People mm -hmm. don't realize, but, I mean, you know, up until like five minutes left in that game, that game was a one-score game. So talk about that matchup at Memorial, having to go there once again and play that. Um, you know, I, the whole team's really excited to get another chance to go against Memorial. Um, they're a really good team. There's a reason they went undefeated in the Big A Conference. Um, but um, I, we're all really excited to play them again, and we felt like we left a lot on the field that game. We feel like we didn't finish a lot of drives. Um, so we feel like we're ready to go against them. It, was, really, really it was a close one, yeah, for sure. Coach, mm -hmm. what do you think? What do you need to do to beat them? Um, like Sam said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a gritty game. I mean, like Sam said, too, there, there's a reason that they're 10-0. They're a tough team. I mean, we, we have to stay focused. We have to make sure we take care of the ball. And we have to have a solid week of practice. Should be a fantastic matchup. Middleton at Memorial, level two of the playoffs. Wow. Uh, what, what else can you say? So, Sam, Coach Poles, thank you so much for being here. Good luck this week. Thank you very much.